Jason, well done. That's uh, by quite some margin your uh, your best qualifying this season, isn't it? Life in the old dog yet. It is that way, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know what? We've had a good run this morning, and you know we've we've not really had any issues. We've just chipped away and slowly but surely improved the back balance. But you know we found something. Far funny enough, yesterday on the data, I was at. I was out filming yet yesterday and I had a Zoom call with my engineer and we just sat and trawled through de data for a couple of hours. And we, we don't really understand, or we didn't really understand that. For some reason, my, my car, not so much Dan's, but certainly mine, just doesn't accelerate very well. Anyway, we found a, an issue in that, something to do with a very high level ma mapping that any tiny modulation on the throttle, even like 5% off the throttle, from say 95 to 90, 91, we were losing 30% of the boost. So anyway, they've made some changes and it appears to have made quite a diff difference in that, you know, I, I don't know where we are down the straights, but it feels better than we were. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, I'm pleased, I'm pleased there. We, you know, we, I think we've got a, you know, I think our race pace will be, we, be, be okay, I think. We just got to make sure that, you know, every time we get behind another car, we lose we lose performance because of our charge te temperature. You know, we could see that in in Dan when he was behind, when he was in clean air at Silverstone, and then when he when when uh, Hill got past him, his straight line performance dropped off quite a bit from where it was. And we haven't fixed that yet, so yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to get in the lead, and spear off, <laughs> get nice fresh air in the front of the car, but. I think that's going to be difficult. Well, it'd be particularly nice, given you're, you're tantalisingly close to that elusive uh, 100 wins, aren't you? So it'd be nice to that get one step closer. It feels a long way away closer. at the minute, let me tell you that. <laughs> well, what are the chances, I mean, of, of getting closer this weekend? They're going to be the best they've been all season, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I would think so, yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Ah, uh, you know. Yeah, it'd be ace to win some races. That's what I'm here for. Great stuff. Well Thanks done. Exactly. Right, let's get, to, let's get our pole sitter. Another, dare I say it, slightly old timer, but but having a, a stonking session there. <laughs> Absolutely, you know the car, the cars felt good today, but you know it's uh, you, you've you've got to believe, and I really believe today that it was in it, and uh, yeah, cracking lap in both sessions, uh, but yeah, fantastic just to have it go my way, and so so close, you know these guys did a great job, but fantastic to start from pole, really really happy. And not just pole, but the only man to get into the 108s. Yeah, which is great. It doesn't count for anything tomorrow, but the most important thing is the car feels really nice. It's uh, It's been in a sweet spot all day today, so let's hope we can transfer that tomorrow. And, you know, it's been a long season. There's been a lot happened. And, um, you know, to, to have those cars kind of fall my way a little bit today, you wouldn't believe how happy inside it makes me feel. And you can see the looks on everyone's faces in, uh, in the team as well. Well, it's I was going to say, the team are <laughs> really, really pleased with that. We just saw you getting the congratulations from them. It's, it's It boosts them up as well, doesn't it? Absolutely. You know, it's... Um, you know, everyone thrives on a, on a little bit of uh, momentum, and we've just never really got that momentum going this year. But you know, fingers crossed, this, you know, we can uh, you know finish the season strongly and see how we go. Well, let's hope that momentum continues for you Brilliant. tomorrow. Well done, and let's bring in the man who's going to be starting alongside you uh, on the front row. Uh, what a great result for the team, but a particularly good result for you. Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, we've had a really tough day. We were P18 in FP1, P12 in FP2. We've, I think we've done about 11 flying laps all day. The car's been in the garage. We've had issues with the setup, and we've really turned that around. You know, we were P8 in the in the first bit of qualifying. We have made more tweaks, so it's really been chipping away at it and driving the car to its full potential. So, uh, over the moon with a front row start in P2. We're on top of the car now, and uh, like I say, what a turnaround for a day. A chipping away has been the story of your season because the cross. <laughs> 407 to Alicante setting off. Yeah, I was saying chipping away has been the story of your season because particularly across the last few races, we've seen you really coming forward, really come to the fore. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, the issue this morning was we, we tried some big things on the car which have been different to Silverstone. It was, it was worth a risk because we want to keep moving forward, but those things didn't work. So we've reverted back to how we were at Silverstone and it just proves we're finding something because we've gone back to it and yeah, we're doing pretty good. Well done, you. We'll see you out there Thank tomorrow. You.